3D Cat Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the last video in my Jungle Book series, and this one is going to be for Ka, so if you missed any of the past Jungle Book nails, Shere Khan, Bagheera, Baloo, and Mowgli, I'll have links to all of those in the description box below. I love this whole series, and I especially love the backgrounds of all of these nails, and that background could certainly be worn on its own, and it is just so pretty and such a nice, rich green. So I hope you love it as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with that marbled gradient I mentioned, and since Ka is a pinky nail, it is pretty skinny, so there's a lot less acrylic needed than, say, the Shere Khan nail because, well, my pinkies are tiny. I wear a size 9 tip usually on my pinkies. I guess it depends on the brand of tips, but usually, whatever is the smallest one available, that's what fits my pinkies. And so there's not that much there. But then after I've got that gradient done, I'm going to be pressing some green mylar flakes into that background and really sort of really squishing them down if I can. If there isn't enough stick left to the original marble, then you can go through and just put in a really thin layer of clear acrylic to act as the adhesive for those mylar flakes to stick to. Then encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong and to protect those mylar flakes. Mylar flakes are something that I've had I've got four colors and I've had them for so long because I thought they were so pretty. And when I first received them, I ordered them from I don't know who knows where, Born Pretty Store or something a long time ago. And I got them and I was like, oh, these are really pretty, but I don't think I'll ever use them because they're so thick. But in this circumstance, they definitely work well when they're encapsulated like that. So now I'm going to start sculpting my Ka. So I have a color of acrylic that isn't exactly mauve and it isn't exactly brown, but it's somewhere in between and it works perfectly for Ka because he doesn't have like a regular tan color to him usually. It's just a little bit different and this color seemed to be the one. So I'm going to start sculpting in his face right about in the middle of the nails where I want his, his snout to be. And as you can see I use that color and just kind of pulled it off to the side and pulled it out a little bit and that'll give you kind of the side frame of his mouth and then or of his smile. And I'm going to be adding a little bit more to his lower jaw kind of really thin layer there. If you have some layers of your 3D work that's really, really thin, it's going to make the areas that are thicker stand out a little bit more and have a bigger impact. So then I'm going to take that same kind of mauve tannish color and drag it down the length of the nail and then cut it off on the end and try to get as nice smooth lines as possible. One thing that you can do if you want to, I don't know if you guys have been following my channel for a long time and you pay attention to what I do, then you may have noticed that until recently I always used two bits when I file my nails. I always used a coarse bit and then I used a really fine bit. Recently I've kind of switched up what I do and I've been using a medium grit bit to start with and doing most of my filing with that and then if I need to I'll go through with a hand file and clean up a couple things that's something I always did but I'll do that and then after I do that I take a little lint-free nail wipe and I will get it saturated with acetone and I'll do one swipe only one guys you don't want to do more than that because you don't want to dissolve the whole nail or start the breakdown process but I'll do one swipe down the nail which will help really just smooth in any cracks that all of your filing will leave and it gives it just a really nice, really luxurious texture to sculpt on top of. So now that I've mentioned that, and I have mentioned it once or twice before, but it's just a really good system that I found. I'm going to be sculpting the rest of Ka. So he's got two colors. He's got the colors that's on like his smile and then down his chest and his belly. But then he's got the darker brown color that's on the top of his, his face and around his eyes and then down his back. So that darker color is just a straight up brown and I'm going to be using that right now. It's a darker brown just to be adding all of those other areas of him. And when you're sculpting around his eyes, it's kind of like when I was using the black for sculpting Mowgli. When you're using a darker color on a lighter background or against a lighter area like this brown against the lighter mauve tan, you want to make sure that you're very cautious with it so that you don't accidentally stain the other lighter colors of acrylic that are nearby. So just keep that in mind when you're working with it to just air on the side of caution with everything that you're doing and then with a light yellow I'm going to be adding his eyes. Now make sure that the brown acrylic underneath is fully set before you start sculpting with a lighter yellow on top of it otherwise the yellow is going to pick up the brown pigments from underneath and it's going to turn kind of a I don't know beige brownish 
gross, not yellow color anymore. So just bear that in mind that you want to maybe set this nail aside for a couple minutes and then come back and add the yellow eyes so that that doesn't happen. I'm now going to go over the yellow eyes and brighten them up a little bit since my yellow was a little too pastel and I want these eyes to look very intent. And then I'm going to take some acrylic paint and do the rest of the details on Ka. With brown paint, I'm going to be adding just the little textures on his face and down his chest. So there's just these little stripe lines for the different sections of his belly and on his face. It's just a whole bunch of little, little tiny quick lines. And then with black, we're going to go through and do the more intense defined outlines. So I'm going to start with his smile and then go through and just keep doing all of the outlining. There isn't as much to Ka as the other characters. Kind of like with Mowgli, there just wasn't as much different areas of him to outline or worry about. So that does make this process a little bit easier. And I'm going to go over his face and around his face and the different zo uh, yeah, zones, I guess that word works, of his of his face and then add some outlines around his eyes and once you have all of that done i did also paint in some nostrils for him but all you have left to do is add his pupils i went back and forth a bunch of times about making my ka have the little swirly hypnotic eyes versus painting him with just his yellow i'm not hypnotizing you eyes just like the plain ones and i couldn't decide which way i thought would be better but i obviously went this route if you do decide to do a recreation and you do it with those hypnotic eyes i'd love to see it but then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background and a layer of matte top coat over mr ka and that's it i'm so sad this series is done because it really is one of my favorite series that i've ever sculpted i love these five characters so much and i hope you guys love it as much as i do if you did miss any of the past four videos i will put links to all of them in the description box below so check for those and take me in any recreations and i will see you next time bye